641 tonight. Victims of sexual assault will be coming together in Ann Arbor to take back the night. It's part of an annual event for survivors of sexual violence to meet and see that they're not alone and that their voices can be heard. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live at the Union in Ann Arbor where a candlelight vigil will be taking place later. And Matt, this is obviously an powerful, empowering event for women taking part, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, some would say it's even a necessity for those who are survivors of sexual violence. In fact, even the organizer who's putting together this Take Back the Night March here in Ann Arbor, she is a survivor herself. And when you see all these survivors together, you see all these uh, people walking the streets of Ann Arbor, there's certainly a power behind this. That's why they call it Take Back the Night. And those who put this event together say the goal is simple, to affect the lives of at least one survivor. And they're confident that they'll do that each and every year. As simple as it sounds, just having someone believe you can actually make all the difference. Shame is such a big part of dealing with being assaulted. And if survivors are supported and, and believed, it helps eradicate some of that and it takes away some of the power that the perpetrators have. The organization behind Take Back the Night cites statistics that one in three women worldwide are victims of sex crimes. Men, they're actually one in six. And in the end, less than half of people report these crimes at all. So you can see they're actually already getting ready down here. The banner is up across the, the uh, bridgeway when you walk into the Michigan Union here. Tonight at 630, that's when the doors will open to the ballroom that is inside the Michigan Union for all the people to come in. There'll be keynote speakers. They'll have music from one of the performers of past seasons of American Idol. And they'll also have just a lot of people together that they can get information to help other survivors and see that they're not in this battle alone. Hey, we're live in Ann Arbor this evening, this morning, talking about this evening. I'm Matthew Smith. We'll send it back to you in the studio. Matt, thank you so much for that live report.